So, Michael, you have over 10 years experience and um, you've had a, a 10 years post-qual experience, I should say, and you've had a number of different roles um, with some really interesting organisations and you've, you've also co-founded some companies also. How important do you think it is to kind of get exposure to different industries and different systems, I suppose, initially in your career as an accountant? <laughs> Yeah, like, I, sp I suppose if I was to give anybody any advice, like, you never know it all. Um, you know, once once you get your qualification and you get your, you know, ACA designation, that's only really the start of your learning journey. And that was probably something I didn't realize until probably the last three or four years. <clears throat> but once you have it, you know, the, the world is your oyster. You can go into any sector and your, your qualification is relevant to, to help out. And I remember, you know, after I qualified, I went to EY in Dublin or moved to Dublin from Belfast, I should say. And um, I was there for two and a half years, but I really wanted to get back out in the industry. You know, I enjoyed my experience in Phoenix Gas in Belfast. Uh, it was something I wanted to do. So I was applying for jobs in a lot of multinationals. I just had the mindset that I needed to go into a multinational. I wanted to go into a big corporation to you know, learn from them. And it was actually, the turning point for me was I met with Karen Lanigan in the Institute, who you're probably aware of, Jean. She runs the careers yes, functioning absolutely. there. Yeah. And got the best piece of advice for her. She was like, she looked at my experience, uh, you know, asked me where I wanted to be. And I said, look, I'd love to be an FC one day or an FD. Um, that's kind of my goal. And she just said, well, you're kind of limiting yourself by going into a multinational because if you do, you're going to be pigeonholed in fixed assets or you're going to that's be specific. doing yeah. fp &A. Whereas if you take a step back and look at maybe a small to medium-sized entity, you're going to get to do a little bit of everything. And that was probably the best piece of experience I got because that then led me, it widened my scope, first of, of all. Course. Then I found a role in Open Hydro um, as a financial accountant. And I did, I got in to do a little bit of everything. I was doing, you know, R&D tax credits. I was doing system implementations or, you know, finance improvements, um, year end consolidation, like you name it, like what goes on in a large multinational, I was getting a bit of experience along the way. So after a while then, the opportunity came to go and work in Google on a contract role. I decided, you know what, like I've had a phenomenal experience in Open Hydro. There's no more opportunities to grow. I may as well go now and see how this works in a large organization. And it was, it was a contract role basically as a 50% backfill of a girl who was working on a systems implementation. Okay, okay. So I was going to be working on her with that, which meant I got to interact with all of the parts of the finance department in Google. And also 50% backfill her her role. So looking at the US gap reporting side of things, um, how that reporting process works each month and each quarter end was phenomenal as well. Like, and I still, when I'm doing stuff, I still refer back to how do we do it in Google? Because it is kind of like how they report on, yeah. you know, hundreds of entities around the world every month and quarter year end is highly efficient and, you know, there's great processes there. And then, you know, you got your multinational exposure. Um, I did, I did yes, yep. <laughs> yeah. I did, yep. And as that contract came to an end, I kind of hemmed and hawed about moving to London and getting a role over there. Um, at an interview lined up with Disney, it was going to be a production accountant, so I would have got a credit on the movies and stuff like that. So I was all excited about that. And then the opportunity came to join a startup in Dublin. Mm. And I kind of, I remember talking to the recruiter at the time and I was like, what are these guys doing? Like they're giving away free lights and charging a fee for it. Like this just sounds really risky. Do you know what? I'm going to go and tell them in the interview what they're doing wrong <laughs> and, <laughs> and take myself off to London. But when I met them, um, I was just blown away by what they were doing. Every kind of risk I could think of, they had an answer for um, yeah. And I just thought, I come out of the interview going, I actually really, really want this role. So that was like the start of Urban Vault. Um, yes. That they didn't have an accountant at the time. All they had was 
some investment, Jamie Heaslip was involved. So I decided, you know what, sixth employee into something at the beginning would be phenomenal experience. And I remember before I took the role, Jean, I spoke to a few of my other colleagues and I remember one of my child accountant friends saying to me, so you've never set up a finance department. How could you go in and do that role? Like really dismissive. And I said, well, who has? Yeah. Who has done it? I was like, there are probably, you know, you could probably, there's probably very few accountants that have ever had that opportunity. So why not? Like I have an excellent qualification. I have experience working in a small company and I'm a large multinational. Exactly, yeah. And I have a phenomenal network, so I'm going to do it. Well, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. jumped in, rolled my sleeves up, like I was doing devs and gratis at the start, happy out, setting up processes. Um, we secured fundraising in the first six months I was there. That got me a promotion to finance director and it meant that I could um, expand the team. So... It was just really, it was great to get in there, learn from the three founders. One of them had a phenomenal corporate finance background, Kevin Mon, the CEO. Yeah. So everything, like I just lapped up everything he taught me, you know, about corporate finance and still sticks to me at the moment in my current role. But I was there two and a half years and I kind of was, I was when you work closely with entrepreneurs, you kind of like, I have this idea for my own little business, maybe. I don't want to go and do that and kind of figure it out because I'm working with cloud technology. Not many people are doing it. We all are now. Yeah, <laughs> um, and maybe there's the opportunity to kind of do what I did for Vault for small businesses. So I spoke to the CEO and decided that, you know, I'd wind down my time there. Um, you know, I trained up the, the current FD, Aiden. He's fantastic at the moment and stepped, stepped aside then, let them kind of carry on. They're doing great at the minute. Um, so decided to set up Dapper, which was particularly to work with small businesses to help them utilize cloud-based technology and use automations. And while I was there, like I was like, okay, I still need to work, still need to pay the bills. So I took a contract role in car trawler, right in Dundrum. Um, initially just helping out in FP&A but that kind of went a lot further when they seen what I could do and I ended up yeah. I, I ended up being there for two and a half years so <laughs> it, was a, it was a great experience to be there as well a lot of great I've made a lot of great contacts that I still be in touch with today so it's a great yep. variety Michael like I mean even so, the bandwidth the companies um, a lot on the tech side but you've gone from small to medium which just shows what you can do with the qualification Exactly. And you yeah. can go into any industry. Like I, I find my niche and what, you know, worked for me. I love dealing with energy and startups and mm -hmm. stuff that I'm passionate about. Like other people might be different. That might not be for them, but you can sample, you can try something exactly. out. Exactly. You can try. You know, like it, go, go into banking or go into whatever. Yeah. Exactly. It's very versatile. 